What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and I had an epiphany, a realization if you will, and I've probably had this before, however, I think it's going to be long lasting this time. Let me tell you what I mean. Depending on how I do, whether I win or lose, no one's going to be happy. Alright, some people maybe will be happy, but there's always going to be people that are unhappy because if I win, it's oh, the sliders are too easy, or the series is boring, or whatever. If I lose, I suck. That Those are pretty much the options. So, or if I win, I also change the sliders. I have not changed the sliders. They are what they are. My pass defense reaction time, I'll lower it even more for the playoffs. We'll go 10. There's, and if I complain that things are going badly, it's, well, the sliders are as they are. How could you even complain? What are you, an idiot? So, my new thought process, and this is something I should have implemented a long time ago to make the videos better, in my opinion, I just don't care. That's where we are. I'm just going to do the series. I'll take some comment feedback, and I'll consider these things, but at the end of the day, this is my series. It is for you guys, but if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. It's all a team-building series anyway, and our team is pretty damn good at this point. Pretty damn good. I did look at the comments section. You guys told me some abilities to throw on. Fearless, I think, was one of the big ones. So I don't usually throw from the pocket too often. I'm very mobile. But I think Fearless is going to be pretty good. You guys told me to get that one. And Gunslinger, of course. Closer, I don't think you guys mentioned anything about any of these. For Dennis Peoples, Red Zone Threat was mentioned. And that, is that one of these X-Factors? It's not. Is it one of these? Hold on, let me see. Red zone threat. When in the red zone, receivers with this ability have a better chance to win contested catches against single coverage. Well, that sounds pretty good. Here's the thing about that, though, is I really love to put Dennis Peoples on either a post or a cross, depending on where he lines up. So I like wide receiver apprentice. I'm just going to keep that on. For Edward Teague, he's just still bad. I'm going to try running some more inside zones to really get him going. He's almost to an 80 overall. Defensively, Jameel Holloman just isn't a high enough overall for me to really change things. I know the one that everyone mentions. Oh, maybe it is Enforcer. Maybe I'll put Enforcer on him instead of Reach Elite. That sounds okay. But the big one was the Superstar X-Factor ability. He doesn't even have that. But Avalanche, I think it was. But yeah, I, I, things are pretty good right now. Our team's great, we're rolling, we're cruising, and we have a divisional round matchup in the playoffs against the Indianapolis Colts. After this super long intro, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're not subscribed already, would love for you to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna do running back training boost there. And I think that's it for right now, maybe save it for tight end, because I know everyone loves the dad of the team, Matthew Wayne, but we did draft a tight end underneath him. Who's the rookie, George Brown out of Michigan? Hasn't really played much, He's wearing number 49. He looks like Tremaine Edmonds. That's going to change, but not right now. we got to focus on the Colts. The Colts are a big rival of ours. We've played them before this year. Their quarterback is Blaine McCain, and when we're able to keep him inside the pocket and get pressure on him, it's game over. The Colts can't do anything. However, what we experienced last time we played the Colts, we were dominated by Marlon Mack, and Blaine McCain was just getting out of the pocket making guys miss, wreaking havoc. The Colts were a really tough team. We'll go over their roster before we get into things here. But Blaine McCain's really the guy we have to stop. He's got 85 speed. He breaks every tackle with 78 break, ta break tackle. Really good for a quarterback. Blaine McCain's very good. Marlon Mack is the best running back of all time when we play him. He's very, very, very good. Michael Pittman Jr., Dante Pettis, Tyler Landry in there. Also Terrence Yancey. Foster Moreau is in there. I get told I look like him constantly. I mean, I guess I could see what you're saying, but like, just we're both white. That's pretty much what you mean. Doug Faulkner at left tackle, Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly, Tyree Phillips, and Braden Smith. Offensive line's pretty good. Enrique McCrary's all right. Sam Hubbard's all right. DeForest Buckner's amazing. James Starks is pretty good. Darius Leonard is amazing. Bobby Okariki's very good. Klee Hudson's okay. Kenny Moore, one of the better slot corners in the NFL. Rocky Seen is all right. Joe McKnight, RIP. Malik Cooker out there at free safety. Also, Matthew Middlebrooks, who I think I tried to draft. And they're not even using him. Keanu Neal and Kyrie Milner. That's right. They have four really good safeties for essentially no reason. But we're in the playoffs. This is a really, really big game. 
We need a win to go to the conference championship. Let's get it done. It doesn't really feel like a playoff game, but we better turn into playoff mode real quick because we need a win here. Nothing else will do. The season is over with one hiccup, one loss. But Matthew Schmidt had a very good season, threw for almost 5,000 yards, 47 touchdowns. He had 24 interceptions. It's a lot. But we, we honestly stopped throwing him for a while there. So I'm happy with the way the season ended up going. Dennis Peoples is unbelievable. We even got Alfonso Peoples involved. And Edward Teague just is pretty bad. Second and 10. I wanted, I wanted Weldon there. Ah, just got to throw it away. Third and 10. What if we put Teague on a wheel? That could get wheelie open. Ha ha ha. Single coverage, and that's intercepted. All right. Well, that's not a great start to the game. That is not a great start at all. McKnight's going to step out of bounds. Here's the thing. We had single coverage, right? It was pretty good coverage. Not, nothing crazy, but pretty good. And I don't know why the ball's so underthrown. I, I mean, is this a pass that I have to lob? Because I want this to the corner, obviously. But it's thrown, like, here. I don't really understand that. I don't really understand that. But it's an interception either way. We got to deal with it. And let's see if we can stop the Colts. Not a good start to the game at all. But the interceptions don't matter on the stat sheet anymore. So it's not cumulative. It's just on a per-game basis. Oh, man. Do we dial up a blitz here? I think we're going to try it. I think we're going to try it. Get after the quarterback. Why did Jameel Holloman stop your rush? You're on a blitz. Don't break down. Get after him. Colts end up throwing it away. Probably would have been the same result either way. I don't know how that's not intentional grounding, by the way. It really should have been. But it's never called in the CPU. 3-0 Colts. I must just be calling the worst run plays ever. Because I feel like the blocking's so bad on all of them. Devarius Givens. Be faster. Oh, let's go. Devarius Givens. That's a nice gain. Kind of didn't expect the first down there when we threw it to him. But I will certainly take that. And I think the pitch is usually a really bad play. We're going to try it anyway on first and 10. See if maybe the blocks will shape up. And they, they did for a second. And then 90 shed. Play action. No one bites. We're going to run again. They're not accounting for Matthew Schmidt. They're used to seeing quarterbacks run during Colts games with Blaine McCain. It's not who it is this game. The real Vanilla Vic. Matthew Schmidt is off to the races. Here's the inside zone. All right. I'm loving running the ball. It's fantastic. Be faster, Schmidt. Give me a block. Give me a block. Troy Weldon, you got to turn around and block there when it's pretty clear I'm going to be running. Really annoying, but it is third and seven. Need a first down here, or else we're probably looking at a tie game. I like Weldon. Oh, jeez. Why inaccurate? Why inaccurate bullet pass there? What's the problem? It wasn't under pressure inaccurate. It was just, ah, this pass is going to be inaccurate. I, it, it's been decided. I mean, he's wide open. But I guess I just suck. I got to make a better read there. I got to know that that's going to be an accurate pass and, and run or something. 3-3. Three, three. The kick from Joey Sly is good. It's a tie game. What a start. What a start. McCain throws it into traffic, but Marlon Mack holds on. Jameel Holloman right there. Can't force an incompletion. It's second and seven. This actually might be a good timing at uh, the Blitz, just because they got a lot of receivers out there, and they're throwing right over the middle. That is complete to Michael Pittman Jr. I was in coverage, and Demetrius Miller's just not fast enough in those spots. Just not quite fast enough. Can we contain here? I don't remember what the button is to contain. Would have been nice. He's going to run. Send him after him. Let's go. Isaiah Simmons making sure McCain can't go anywhere. Our prisoner of war. And the Colts are going to try a field goal. It's kind of a long one, though. This one might not be a gimme. We'll see if we can put some extra uh, extra pressure and maybe block this. Kick is up, and it is good. I think that was Matt Gay from deep. Sure was. I'm going to try the pitch again. 
And it, I mean, there's just nowhere to go. That play, I just got to take it out of rotation. The Colts are all over this. There's, there's no blocking. There are no run lanes. At least not that I can see. I know you guys are all better than I am. So you guys probably would have turned that into a positive gain. But I, I couldn't find anything. Just could not find anything. Someone going to get open here? I think Peoples is. Uh, it's going to be not even close. Oh, Dennis Peoples almost caught it. These crazy and accurate throws are starting to annoy me a little bit. But once again, we are stuck in a very unfortunate spot. Third and 13. Offense has not been clicking today. And that is an interception. I just panicked and hit A button. Wasn't the right one. I have been stuck in this game, but I, I, the team hasn't really been much help. I saw Dennis Peoples immediately. I really didn't want to throw him the ball there. I'm not sure we could have gotten the first down. Why is this so zoomed in? So I saw him on the slant. I see 33 there as well. Weldon had some space, but it closed up quickly. And then I guess really the throw would have been over here. I didn't know what button Devary Skibbins was. I saw R1 over there. I just pressed it, and it very clearly was not open. Very bad decision to throw that ball, but I again, I really didn't, I didn't see who it was. So that's tough. That's tough. And the Colts are set up to score again. I get a rebound. I've been playing so well the past couple games. I've taken more than a few days off recording Madden. So I am a little rusty, but we're going to turn it around. I think I got the bad throws out of my system. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I mean, I, I don't want to say this is a touchdown no matter what, because it's not necessarily, but... Touchdown, Colts. Marlon Mack gets in there. I, there were just so many different run lanes he could have hit. And he just decided to be patient, take that. Colts are going to be up by a touchdown and a field goal. 10. It's 13-3. Game is far from over. I just got to stop messing around and just score. I don't care if I throw to Dennis Peoples 10 times in one drive. I'm going to score here. Getting a touchdown. We're making it 13-10. Just, it's what's happening. But we need to score here. We need to score here. We have time. We're going to run up the middle. There's a big time space. Matthew Schmidt. Big gain on the ground for Vanellovic. One of the only plays where blocking is actually good. We are going to go right back to it. And it's one of our least successful inside zones, but it's still got four yards. Step up. I know we had Teague, but we have Matthew Schmidt for the first. Over 50 yards rushing. We had John Carson into the game after a successful Edward Teague run, and he is going to rumble forward for six. We are inside the five now. First and goal. And there's a two-minute warning. If we put Dennis Peoples in the slot in this formation, he would be on this reverse here, and I think he'd be even more effective. But Alfonso Peoples sneaks in. Touchdown. If you thought that they're going to count that as a receiving touchdown, I mean, technically it is a pass. I thought it was a handoff. But technically it's a pass. 13-10. Colts still in favor here, but we did a good job of scoring before the half. Now, the Colts do have a two-minute drill. They can get down the field. They could score again. We are going to do our very best to not allow that to happen. I think our defense has played fairly well. They really have. But the Indianapolis Colts offense, because of my mistakes, have been set up so many different times to score in so many different advantageous situations. The Colts have been able to just get points on the board very, very easily. I think when our defense has a full field behind them, they're going to be a lot more effective. And McCain's going to run. McCain's going to run. Send somebody at him. Big hit. The ball comes loose. Holiday recovers. Demetrius Miller, the rookie, hard-hitting safety, lowers the shoulder. And finally, Blaine McCain fumbles. We've seen multiple games this year. This is our third game against the Colts. And Blaine McCain survives shot after shot after shot after shot. This one, he puts the football on the ground. At the very least, we need to tie this game up. There's Troy Weldon. First down, we're entering the red area. Red zone time. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I want to try. I'm going to throw it anyway. I'm going to throw it anyway. There is a flag. Alfonso Peoples looks like he almost made the catch. With a better throw, he might have. And what is the call here? 
illegal touching i thought so did troy weldon come out of bounds and then go back inbounds and touch that off the tip second and ten that was weird there's really no penalty for that based on the situation look at the coverage on dennis peoples peoples you got a block schmidt holds on way not to fumble but he is running low on energy we're gonna call a timeout here that's probably what happens next get some stamina back could consider running the ball but we know how that goes so we have multiple timeouts we're gonna call one here it's one of the time to take down a little bit more third and four wide open wide open now that was supposed to be like a hook and go type play however he was just really really open on the initial stop so we had to throw the ball at that exact time inside touchdown troy weldon that's how you do it that's how you do it it's gonna be 17 13 going into the half we do not receive so it was super 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 important to score there and especially in the way that we did wasting up the entire clock 17 13 the colts are not gonna have time to score with eight seconds i'll see you in the third quarter A run it sure is up the middle big hit demetrius miller marlon mack has been subdued six rushes for only 19 yards they really haven't had a ton of time on offense to be fair so he really hasn't had a chance to get going that is a monstrous hit second and 18 there was a hold and then of course that as mccain's gonna run he's got space and the ball comes loose recovered by demetrius miller is that isaiah simmons who poked it out let's take a second look McCain tried to get going. It was Jameel Holloman combined with Heath Sapp. Sapp maybe forced it out at the last second. I think Holloman was already getting that ball moving. And Demetrius Miller is already forced to fumble in today's game. Recovers one. The tides are turning, ladies and gentlemen. They are turning indeed. Whatever that means. Get out of the pocket. Get up the field. Give me a block. Schmidt. Okay, we'll take we'll take that. Is this a blitz? I mean, Weldon's going to get streaked here. Oh, jeez. Just throw it away. <laughs> it is first and 10 from the 11. Let's get something going here. Matthew Wayne. Playoff touchdown for Matthew Wayne. I don't believe it. Superman. <laughs> Let's settle down a little bit, Matthew Wayne. One catch a game. I'm not about to wrap, but that would have been a good start. They had it deep. They had it deep. Holloman. Oh, man. McCain avoids a huge shot. I came down a little bit in my deep zone, and McCain was just way too scared to let it fly. Second and four. Looks like they're going to run the ball here. We have a hook zone with Miller, though, so we can afford to play in the box. And that's just a good throw. That's just a good throw. First down, Colts. Quick throw. Nothing doing. We're playing at the line of scrimmage. We're daring the Colts to throw over the top. Third and 11. They might have an opportunity to do so here. Let's uh, let's change up the coverage a little bit. Run something a little bit more conservative. And that is just wide open. Wide open, huge hit by Orlando Holiday on Dante Pettis. He's getting up slowly. He got rocked. But he is still going to be in the game. From the 30, four minutes to go here in the third quarter. McCain going to run. Hit him! Big hit Demetrius Miller, and he doesn't fumble this time. Man, he's taking some shots this game. Gonna scramble. Ball comes loose again. Isaiah Simmons recovers. It was Orlando Holiday. And McCain has fumbled three times. That's what happens when you try to run every single play at quarterback and you take all these hits. We're in a position to ice this thing. Wide open. We had a ton of options. Oh, Teague. Eddie Teague. That was so almost super exciting. Second and 10. I don't really like my options here. I don't like my options at all. We're just gonna throw it away. Didn't really feel like anything got open enough. Pretty much man covers there. Didn't really like it. 
Third and ten. I don't really like anything, but Troy Weldon almost makes a heck of a play. We're, we're, we're really not getting any separation from these DBs, and they're not even particularly good. Their corners really aren't anything special. And it feels like we're getting locked down. We will punt for one of the first times of this game. Big hit by Holmes. Big hit by Archibald. He's just eating all of them. Marlon Mack just easily, easily breaks that tackle. Arm tackles are not going to bring a guy like the best running back in Madden franchise history, Marlon Mack, down. It's just not going to happen. Coming to the end of the third quarter here, just 20 seconds to play. Just got to keep the Colts at bay. Take your two and three yard gains. We'll win the game. Big hit. Oh, man. Holiday made him pay, but Dante Pettis, who's been rocked a bunch today, still not going to fumble. Only their quarterback, Blaine McCain's fumbled a couple times. A few times, actually. I think it's three. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth. And he's going to run. He's going to run. Simmons, big hit. But he got the first down. He's just putting his body on the line. Vintage Andrew Luck style performance. He's going to run. He's going to run. I actually dove. Big hit by Orlando Jones. Oh, man. McCain has been destroyed this game. Don't, like, don't get me wrong. He has beaten us a little bit on the ground. But overall, we're winning the war, even if he wins a battle or two. The Colts are not going to go for the touchdown here. I don't necessarily blame them. But in this spot down by as many points as they are a field goal in my opinion it doesn't really change things very much it sets you up for a touchdown and a two-point conversion but with this amount of time left in the game like we we could very easily just run out the clock here and they might not even be able to touch it again if we were able to run the ball effectively i don't know in real life i probably do exactly what they do i have to take the field goal but i don't know Try a pitch. They, those have been so effective this game. <laughs> Why am I even bothering trying that? I've seen it enough to know that it's terrible. Rolling out. We're going to have the first down any way we want it here on this next play. It's what? One yard? Two yards? Should be very doable. Let's call inside zone. And just fall forward with Teague. We are wasting clock. There it is. There it is. There it is. First down, Edward Teague. Rolling out again. We have some options. Can I throw that? Oh, it's caught by Dennis Peoples. I wasn't even throwing to him. I'll take that. I mean, Peoples really hasn't been too involved today. Oh, and Matthew Schmidt's in the zone now. That's fun. I don't know what that linebacker's doing over the middle. Is this Tampa 2? Ah, it's intercepted. Why did I not? I, I thought he stepped out of bounds, honestly, is why I threw that. Which meant it would have been illegal touching. Well, I just must have just missed that then, huh? Oh, he didn't step out of bounds. He was so close, didn't step out of bounds. Well, all right. Colts are still in it. And down goes McCain. It's Chad Brown, who was so clutch for us last week. He had three sacks on one drive. And we had no sacks in the entire first half. He came alive in the third quarter. And now he's doing work in the fourth with a big sack there. And that one is incomplete. McCain had it open on the right side of the field. Streak. Too, super open. He's just too scared to stretch the field. He's not really a quarterback. He's a running back that can throw the ball a little bit. And maybe more than a little bit as that's open. Dropped in beautifully. It's wide open. Meet him at the ball. Holiday forces the incompletion. Love that. Second and 10. A minute and 35 to play. All we have to do is keep the Colts out of the end zone and it's game over. Nothing like a little suspense here at the end of the game. Going over the middle. 
Miller, I don't want to say he wrapped up for sure. Had a little bit of help from Simmons there. Third and one. Man blitz. And that is just wide open. He's out of bounds, though. He's out of bounds. Incomplete. Oh, she's getting down with it in the Desperados T. Fourth and one. Game on the line. Is this a run to Marlon Mack? We're going to say that it is. It's play action. It's play action. And that's open. And it's a touchdown by the Colts. Josiah DeGuara. What a time. What a time for the play action. It wasn't even my man either. It just man coverage and it got beat. Here's the two-point conversion. Game on the line for the Colts. If they don't get it, it's very likely they lose the game. If they do get it, there is more hope. And that is wide open. That was on me. 24-24. The Colts have tied it up. We have one minute and seven seconds. Three timeouts. Field goal wins a game. Let's end the Colts season right here. Underneath, Alfonso Peoples turn up field. That should be a first down. And the clock stops. Joey Sly can hit from deep. So, I, I really have high hopes about this. Second and in inches, they're going to call it. We still have three timeouts. So, I'm actually cool to run the ball here. If we know we can get some yardage, and we can. We'll call a timeout up to the 41. They might be committed to the run here. Which could give us an easy opportunity to move the ball. We're throwing the run. Peoples. What an insane decision, by the way. In my head, I, I'm like, we got our feet planted. We're going to make a strong, accurate throw. And that just was clearly not true. With Bazooka, I think we make that play happen. Wide open. Teague. Make a miss. Nope. Didn't. Easy first down, though. We are in field goal range. We could just take it here. We could just take it. Another quick throw to Teague, though. Another quick throw. He breaks a tackle. Tight rope walks. And with seven seconds from the 13, we were a field goal away from winning this thing. We're going to try and line this up. We do have a timeout, so we can afford to do this. Right up the middle. Should be more down the middle right here. We're going to call timeout. Two seconds to go. The Colts can ice us if they want. I'm not sure I'll be able to make it. I don't really like being iced. But it's a 29-yard field goal. And they're not even going to bother. Kick is up, and kick is good. 27-24 is your final. A last-second field goal from Joey Sly. Beat Sean Penn in the Colts. Sean Penn, that's an actor. Sean Payton in the Colts. Sometimes I... I obviously know that's not Sean Penn. Just something comes out that's not what I mean, and I don't always catch it. Either way, we'll take the win. An ugly game. A really ugly game, to be honest, from both teams. But we got the result we wanted. I threw three interceptions, also three touchdowns. So take the good with the bad, I guess. Blaine McCain's numbers ended up being pretty good, but he's just not it. Edward Teague, three yards per carry. What's new? Schmidt did have eight rushes for 75 yards. Receiving Edward Teague, six for 67. Alfonso Peoples, five for 35. Dennis Peoples had the one for 26 off a tip where we were going for, I think it was Matthew Wayne, who did have a touchdown, touchdown for Weldon and Alfonso Peoples as well. And then defensively, just a great group effort, tackle for loss for Orlando Jones, sacks for Orlando Jones, Orlando Holiday, Isaiah Simmons, Jeremiah Langford, and Chad Brown. Interceptions for nobody, and then forced fumbles for three guys, Jameel Holloman, Orlando Holiday, and Demetrius Miller, with fumble recoveries for Orlando Holiday, Isaiah Simmons, and Demetrius Miller. No touchdowns. Ugly game, but we got the result we wanted. We're headed to the conference championship. Upgrades for Troy Weldon, Alfonso Peoples, and Titus Howard. We will do vertical threat for Troy Weldon. Continue to go in that direction. It upgrades a lot. Anything really notable in there? Not really. Not really. Titus Howard is going to continue to go into agile. Get him up to an 80 overall. Hopefully he performs a little bit better. Pass block and run block go, bu uh, go up by one. So that's nice. And then Alfonso Peoples. I've been doing deep threat on him to get his route running up. I don't know that he's ever going to be really more than a slot guy. Catching and catching traffic's really good. Short route running's really good. Maybe we just continue to make him good at what he's good at and just go into slot. Up to an 84 overall. 
86 with morale and short route running goes up even more so we'll take that the conference championship will be the next episode of this series on this channel obviously and it's against the 13 and 3 cleveland browns the browns are very very good no way around that they are a really really good team we're gonna go into power rusher on big 69 clarence trent and he goes plus one power moves plus one block shed we'll take that joe mckee will be my last upgrade he doesn't really see the field too often but as a pass rush specialist really wouldn't be the worst option plus one finesse moves up to an 86 he could be okay but the browns they're the team keeping us out of the super bowl right now we got to go through them their overall is only an 82 oh they're a lot worse than they've been might not be an easy one though you never know thank you for watching hope you enjoyed hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you in the next one take it easy Over you, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.